Hi, this is Troy Hunt, and I'd like to talk to you about five internet security basics. These are things that you absolutely need to understand if you're working with online systems today. And really, that's pretty much all of us. It's almost impossible to go about our daily lives without interacting with websites or mobile devices or other connected things that form a part of our everyday lives. As we gather more connected things and we collect more sensitive data, we expose ourselves more. We put ourselves at more risk of serious security incidents, more risk and a greater impact. And that's really just the nature of the way our digital lives have evolved. That's just a quick overview of what we're going to cover. Let's jump into it and start talking about some of those must-know security fundamentals. Very quickly about me before we get into the details of this course. I am Troy Hunt. I spend a lot of my time training people about how to better secure both their systems and their online lives. You'll often find me speaking around the world and spending my time with organizations and individuals, helping them understand how to better protect themselves from today's online risks. You can find me on Twitter, at Troy Hunt, or via my blog, which can be found at troyhunt.com. So that's it from me. Let's jump into it and start talking about why it's so important to discuss security. I'm going to talk about these five must-know security fundamentals throughout this course. And the first one is password. No, I don't mean passwords. I literally mean the word password, because this is consistently the most common password that people use in systems. Not just password, 123456 is also a very popular password, as is Qity. And Qity might sound like a strange password, but take a look at the keyboard and why people choose this password suddenly makes more sense. We're going to start by looking at the way people create passwords and some of the techniques we should be using to create better ones because we consistently get them so wrong. Now, of course, one of the places that we most frequently use passwords and frequently get them wrong is websites. And websites have got a lot of problems. One of the big issues we've got with websites is data breaches. We see a lot of them. And this is a great visualization of just how many data breach incidents we've seen occurring lately. For example, it was hard to miss the news in 2015 about the Ashley Madison hack, 37 million people having very personal information about their relationship status exposed online. A little bit later, it was the Anthem health insurer. There were 80 million people impacted in that one. And now we're talking about personal information such as dates of birth and social security numbers. Another one that demonstrated something many of us are concerned about these days is the Philippines Election Commission. Comelec had 55 million identities exposed in 2016. That is half the entire country, all exposed in one data breach. That included a huge amount of information ranging from passport details through to biometric data about their citizens. We're going to talk quite a bit about web security a little bit later on in the course. Another modern day online threat that's particularly malicious is ransomware. So we've been seeing strains of this malware encrypting people's files on their machines and then demanding a ransom before the files will be unlocked. Very often, these infections happen because people are running out of date software. Attackers exploit that. They know people are not real good at keeping their machines up to date. So we're going to talk about software maintenance, how to make sure you avoid running vulnerable versions of software, which lead to infections like the one you see on the screen here. However, it's not just your PCs that are under attack. Mobile devices 
are now ubiquitous. You almost certainly have one within arm's reach right now as you're watching this course. We carry these little devices around with us everywhere we go. We take them to the bathroom. We sleep with them. They're rarely out of our sight. But they're also enormously attractive targets to attackers because they do literally contain our entire lives in them. And that poses a very attractive target. But when we talk about having valuable information on devices, these days it goes well beyond just phones. I'm also going to talk about the Internet of Things, IoT. And this is the premise that we should connect everything from refrigerators through to dog bowls through to our cutlery. All of these things and many, many more are increasingly becoming internet enabled. They're becoming part of the internet of things. Now, when you put computers in these everyday devices, you expose them to many of the risks that we see in more traditional computing devices, our PCs, our tablets, our phones. And that creates a whole new set of problems we have to deal with, problems that we haven't traditionally thought about. So that's just a quick overview of the five topics we're going to cover. We're going to look at not just what the risks are, but what are the actionable steps that you can take to avoid becoming a victim. Let's go and start by looking at passwords.